I don't know if you would agree with me, but I also think that the, one of the dangers that has emerged in, in recent years is uh, not so much in the lack of critical thinking, but in combination of critical thinking and religiosity. Because if you look at some of the terror groups like Al-Qaeda or IS, some of the fighters there, they have advanced scientific degrees in chemistry, in physics, and they're using, so like they've shown some ability to exercise critical thinking, but they're putting it to serve their very, uh, you know, dogmatic and very radical ideology. And I wonder if critical thinking is indeed such a unambiguously good thing. I think this ability to think critically about technology um, does not necessarily overlap with critical thinking about the thought of mystical attitudes that some of these people have. And I, I think what you've touched on is the biggest problem in the world today. And I, I, I think the Third World War has started. I've thought for a long time, well before the Pope said this, that there, there was a Third World War. And I, I think Russia, China, the West should actually uh, stop their bickering economic and social issues, sociological issues, Ukraine and Russia, uh, stop pratting around. They've got a massive problem on their hand of the insinuation of mystical attitudes into the very fabric of our society. And I think this is a massive problem because uh, what has happened here, and particularly with uh, the, this uh, Islam, is a judicial construct. You cannot separate it. I mean, it was possible for Jefferson and Madison to say there's a separation of church and state. It is possible to, in Christianity um, to separate church and state. Um, but it's not possible in Islam because it's a judicial construct, but and that's a danger. <laughs>